welcome. So late last night, Bethesda put out an official tweet on their Fallout Twitter page, which reads, we've updated our Fallout 76 beta FAQ. Before asking your question, visit our page here to see how you can break it early. So straight away, they've um, announced that they've given more information on the beta. So let's pop on over to that FAQ and see what we have. So clicking on the page, there are the usual questions on the page, like how do I create a Bethesda.net account, I pre-ordered Fallout 76 on my preferred retailer and did not receive a code, etc, etc. But then you get to a certain point where there are five new bullet points. The first one reads, when is the beta? And the answer given is, you'll be able to play the beta starting in October, which we already knew. That was confirmed about three weeks ago, once again on at follow on Twitter. So then they follow up with, will beta feedback be incorporated into the game? The answer, absolutely. With an online game like Fallout 76, your feedback is essential, whether it's provided now, during the beta, launch or beyond. We need to consistently update the game based on what players are experiencing. So that takes us to the last three bullet points, which are for a lot of people, especially people like me who stream on Twitch <clears throat> and make content like this very important. So the next one is, is there going to be an NDA? Which for those that aren't aware, is a non disclosure agreement where basically anyone that is invited to try something out before a game actually releases is under a strict code of conduct where they can't discuss what's in the game, how the game plays, anything at all until it's um, eventual release or whatever is dictated in said contract. So the answer to this was the beta will not be under NDA. You can post screenshots, stream, make videos, whatever you'd like, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so if you subscribe to the channel, I will be having um, lots of videos go up and I will of course be streaming it. So then comes the last two questions, which are what platforms will the Fallout 76 beta be available? The response was, both the beta and the game will be available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC via Bethesda.net only. Just so PC users are clear, you will not be able to get it on Steam whatsoever. It is only Bethesda.net's own launcher. They go on to say, stay tuned for exact beta timing for each platform here and at Fallout on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Please note that the beta for Xbox One will begin first, followed by other platforms, which we already knew um, since Todd Howard pretty much said that Fallout 76 had some sort of exclusive access or you know little bits of a deal here or there when the gameplay trailer was um, announced and shown off at Microsoft's press conference at E3. So carrying on, we now get the very last question, which is, is the beta going to be the full game and will my progress carry over to the launch? This is probably one of the most important questions because it's the one that's been shrouded in a mystery the most. Gamers everywhere want to know what kind of access this is. I mean, are they giving us um, like a, a portion of it. What were they going to give us? I mean, it could have been a separate map entirely where they just test their online component because that is essentially what it was for mainly. But they go on to say, <clears throat> our current plan for the beta is it will be full game and all your progress is saved for launch. We hope you join in. So that is the new questions that um, have been updated. I will put a link in the description below for anyone that would like to click on it and read it themselves, as well as the other questions um, that have been posted there. Um, just so everyone is aware, please remember you have to pre-order Fallout 76 at a participating retailer on Bethesda.net, on the PlayStation Store, or on Mar 
uh, on the marketplace on Xbox to be eligible for it. Bethesda and Fallout's official page have clarified previously that everyone that pre-orders will get access. It's just that Xbox will have access first, followed by PlayStation, followed by PC. Unless that changes, that is, that's how they're carrying things out. Um, please subscribe to the channel when you get the chance, as I will give you all the updates I can. Um, so, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Steve, AK, signing off. Country Road.